All right. Hey, welcome to Residing in North Idaho. We are back with a market update for January of 2024. I've got my partner, Dave Fowler, with me. And uh, just a reminder, we are full-time real estate agents here in North Idaho. Happy to help you guys move here. Or if you already live here, move around, sell, whatever. We're here for you. We got it all. Um, we even do new builds. Throw that in the Lots old. of new builds. Lots. Yeah, we've been yeah. doing a bunch lately. Hayden Homes, Arcaterra, Greenstone, all of them. Yep. Yep. So. We've got a few in contract right now for those. Um, let's jump right into the update or the uh, statistics for January 2024. Um, we'll kind of read through these and then we've got some talking points. want to hit you guys with a few, I think, important notes uh, to kind of understand the market up here and what's going on in North Idaho right now. Uh, so January 24, we had active listings 1,351 and that is up from last year. Um, new listings, 473 also up and sold listings, 235 up from last year. Um, so it's kind of interesting to note that right last year was a little bit rough though. I would yeah. say yeah, very, very slow. Yeah. yeah. January, um, median list price currently right now, 599, 900. And that sounds very high. I understand that there are plenty of homes, uh, in more affordable price ranges. Um, but that is the median List price, median sale price four hundred and seventy thousand, and median days on market one oh five, which that surprised me. I thought it was a little bit lower than that right now. Yeah, we're still coming out of winter though, so that's True. hanging on quite True. a bit. That's going to drop significantly coming up here. True. Um, absorption rate, which is the month supply of inventory currently out there, is three point seven seven, which is up from last year, and I mistakenly did not bring. December stats with me, but I feel like December was like in the fours. So we've actually popped down a little bit on. Yeah, inventory. I can see that. Um, interest rates, current interest rates. And that is, we're recording this at the beginning of February. Obviously we can't get the stats in January with a crystal ball. So we wait until the, after the month, but it, <laughs> in February right now, February 5th, 2024, 30 year interest rate is sitting at 6.92 percent. And for a VA loan is 6.22%. So they actually just jumped up a little chunk. The I, VA? Yeah, uh, both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just saw that. Because um, I think we were hovering around the mid sixes not long yeah, ago. Yeah, there's a lot of talk. I, I mean, and a lot of people ask us, you know, what are the interest rates going to do? If everybody knew, then, uh, well, it'd be very easy. But the projections are, I mean, pay attention to the feds. Pay attention to what they're doing. Talk to a lender, too, because lenders are way more apt to know uh, much more accurately than we are about the interest rates. But the expectation is that interest rates are supposed to drop slowly throughout the year. So we'll see if that happens or not. I mean, it is an election we'll year. Yeah. There's a darn good uh, chance. It's m miraculous how that happens. Yes. Wow. Gas prices come down. Everything. Uh, interest rates come Beautiful. down. Uh, yeah. So definitely talk to a lender. We, we will actually have another one on here shortly. Uh, hopefully next week. And we can kind of dive into the interest rate thing a little bit. Cause there's a lot going on there. What are you currently seeing in the market right now, Dave? So this is actually, um, I've, uh, for what I've experienced, the winter in Coeur d'Alene is pretty slow. Well, I mean, generally you start yeah, oh yeah. November through January and even through February, it's very slow market just because a lot of people don't want a vacation up here in the winter. It's not that it's not a great place to be, but when people come up and they want to check a place out, they want to see it when it's, you know, it's springtime, when it's summer, when they can be outside, but they can hit the lakes. That's our main attraction up here is having the outdoors. Um, people still come up for skiing and snowboarding, but it's hard to really get a good assessment on a place, um, you know, when you're not up here in the summer. So it's typically a pretty slow market. This is the busiest January I've ever had. Yeah, I mean, it same. is, there's so much activity right now. I don't know if a lot of this is speculation from the prices going down or I mean, from the interest rates dropping or what, but I mean, we're talking about this, we're getting buyers and even sellers. I mean, we just talked about how many listings we have coming up live. I think I mentioned five or six that we have over the next yeah. month that are going to be going on the market. So last year at this time, I think I had two listings. So Things are getting much, much busier right now. And that's the biggest difference from last year now. Yeah, I, I would. I mean, we were both joking about this because literally like January 1st, our phones started ringing off the hook and we were like, wow, this, I, I had been mentally preparing for a little bit of downtime right now <laughs> and it's kicking off already. And I'm like, OK, so I mean, yeah. that, that begs the question, you know, what does the springtime look like here? Because that is generally the busier season, spring, summer. Um, it's things really start to cook, kick off and it's like, OK, if we're already there. What does this look like, you know, in a few months? Um, 
uh, we don't have hair otherwise we'd probably have be losing it at <laughs> that point right because because yeah. uh you know and and i think it's my understanding or what i feel like is that it's a lot of there's a lot of pent-up buying pressure these people have been sitting on the sidelines and you may, may be one of those and kind of waiting to see what happens with the interest rates and i think people are realizing like hey this is probably what it's going to be now from here on out somewhere right. in this range you know maybe we'll get down into the fives again maybe um and you know those people are like okay we're, we're done waiting we're, we're going to make a move and now now's the time yeah there's a lot of people i mean even when you look online you just see the amount of people that are coming in they're still saying there's still housing shortages um and and building up here has slowed down quite a bit <clears throat> markets are different all over the country but the the biggest difference up here is that people are still moving here it's yeah. not a place you know like southern california a lot of people are are we're they're losing people every year uh we're growing whether it's good or bad for the economy whether it's good or bad for the area uh, I won't get into that debate, but there's still people coming here. So the expectation is that if you're looking to buy a home in North Idaho, um, it, I mean, get in contact with a lender right away. Reach out to us. We'll we'll tell you about lenders that we've worked with that do a good job, but get in contact with somebody now so you can at least have your finances in line. Because if you're not looking right now, at least being come, becoming familiar with the market, watching properties, watching interest rates, then you're going to be way behind when it goes. And yeah, we just put an offer the other day and I mean, it's like when it rains, it pours. Yep. House has been sitting there for you know, Every 80 days damn time that and happens. you put in an offer and there's three more right now. So people are starting to get really active. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, you know, I, I don't and I don't mean to create panic if you're thinking, but like, I don't know if we're going to see another situation where we're doing multiple offers. I'm guessing we will. I yeah, hate to I say know. it because I didn't like that time. Nobody likes that time. Um, but it's certainly possible where that the competition heats up that much. The inventory is still relatively low for the amount of people trying to move here. And then we might be back in that situation. So, right. uh, and that's the most important time to have, um, you know, skilled negotiators on your side, helping you out with that stuff. So, right. and timing's huge. Everybody wants to be in a house before the kids go to school. Mm -hmm. So especially like nuclear families and people with kids and everything else that, that have school age kids, those neighborhoods like Coeur d'Alene place, landings, Hawks nest, uh, majestic park, uh, I mean, there's a lot of competition there and it starts to drop off after school starts. Yeah. So August, September, things start to slow down in those areas, but during the summer, it's a frenzy. Safe to say, we're not going to see a market crash in North Idaho, <laughs> at least this year. <laughs> uh, I know there's always, there's people out there that are like, I'm waiting for the, waiting for the crash because it's inflated. I'm like, well, yeah. good luck. Cause, uh, you know, there are thousands of people trying to move here and, and, you know, for good reasons, probably the same reasons we moved here out of states where the politics don't align or, you know, being forced into certain medical decisions for their family. Like we get it. That's a big deal. Um, and, you know, those people literally feel like they're fleeing for their lives. So yeah. they will do anything to get up here. And you might you might be in that group. And uh, we understand because. That's kind of how it was for me. But a big thing too is uh, all our contact information is on here. Reach out to us. If you have questions about the market, houses, communities, new builds, um, that's what we're here for. And that's what we like to do. We like to connect. So if you have any of those questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, you know, I, I always tell people I'm not a salesman. I've never been in sales. I was a fireman. Then I was a cop. Um, there is some salesman side that Good goes point. along with that. Good point. Yeah. When you're trying to talk somebody in the back of the ambulance <laughs> or in handcuffs. But, um, you, you know, realistically, we want. And I say this all the time. We want good people moving to this community. If you're moving here that are going to put back into the community, that's what we really want. And so if you're one of those people and you have questions about the community, the schools, the relationships, uh, the social culture, anything else like that, please reach out. Just ask the question and we'll get it answered for you. Boom. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.